Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. In a previous video we talked about the WIM Mini Multiroom Streamer, which proved to be a realistic option for anyone looking for a well-performing budget streamer. Today we're looking at another budget streamer, the Arillic S50 Pro Plus. And although this costs twice as much as a WIM Mini, it's still half the price of a Blue Sound Note. Let's see if the S50 Pro Plus is worth the extra money compared to a WIM Mini, and how it stacks up against the most popular budget streamer ever, the Blue Sound Note. The Aurelic S50 Pro Plus is basically a streaming preamplifier that can be used in a wide variety of ways. It retails for $219 and is available for direct purchase on the Aurelic website as well as on Amazon and other online stores. In the box you'll find a manual, the Aurelic S50 Pro Plus itself, a remote control, an RCA cable, plus an RCA to mini jack cable, two external antennas for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, plus a 12 volt power adapter. The S50 Pro Plus has a nice silver metal casing with a black OLED display. The backside of this fairly compact streamer is loaded with connections. There are two attachment points for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, RCA in and outputs, an optical in and output, a USB port, an Ethernet port, a coax output, a 12 volt trigger out, a subwoofer connection and the power adapter port. Besides having numerous connections, the S50 Pro Plus is also packed with loads of features. The main purpose of this little device is to add streaming to your existing setup. Thanks to the option to choose between fixed or variable volume for the line level outputs, you can connect it to either an integrated amplifier or even a pair of active speakers. Furthermore, thanks to the digital outputs, you can also bypass the internal ESS Sabre 9023 DAC and connect it to an external one. Streaming options include AirPlay, Spotify Connect and AptX HD Bluetooth 5.0, as well as UPnP and DLNA. The S50 Pro Plus can connect directly to most online streaming providers, letting you bypass Bluetooth. Furthermore, the S50 Pro Plus can be part of a multi-room system with other Aurelic streamers. Getting started is not that complicated. Simply screw on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, connect an audio cable, if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you can also use the Ethernet port, which is what I personally prefer with all my devices. And finally, the power adapter. Now download the Force Stream application, which is available for both iOS and Android. And switch on the S50 Pro Plus. The first time you do this, the software of the S50 Pro Plus will automatically update to the latest version. In my case, that took about five minutes. After the update, you're ready to go. The Wii Mini for my last video is still connected and is compatible with this Aurelic streamer for multi-room use. I wasn't aware of this fact, but it's a welcome surprise and great news for people who would like to set up a multi-room system with a combination of these devices. The Wii Mini can also be controlled with the Force Stream app. And likewise, the S50 Pro Plus can be controlled with the Wii Mini app, with the option to integrate it in a multi-room system with the Wii Mini as well. What I couldn't get to work is 192 kHz output over coax or toslink, and unless I'm doing something wrong, the S50 seems to be limited to 44.1 kHz via its digital outputs. Nevertheless, I tested numerous tracks and with all of the 192 kHz files that I played, I could not hear a difference in sound quality between the Wii Mini and the Aurelic. 
That said, the RME is a very good deck and brings out the best of most devices that I hook up to it. However, I guess that most people who buy this streamer will not use an external deck. Therefore, I decided to connect it to an integrated Yamaha AS2200 amplifier and a pair of mid-range clips RP500M speakers. Simultaneously, I connected the Blue Sound Note and had both streamers hardwired to my network, playing music for my NAS. Upon placing the S50 in my rack, I noticed that its feet had very poor grip and the Ethernet cable kept pulling the S50 to the side. This was however entirely my fault, since the S50 comes with some of the best sticky feet that I've ever seen. You just have to peel off the protective film first. A big advantage, in my opinion anyway, that the S50 Pro Plus has over the Note is that it also works with Olevana. And I like that a lot. Still, to keep it a fair comparison, I mostly played music directly from my NAS, just as I do with the Note. The first thing that was very noticeable is that the Note plays much louder, even though I set the volume output of the S50 to fixed and loud. This is not a big deal if you use the S50 on its own, it's just a bit annoying when you're doing a direct comparison. Other than that, it's mostly good news though. Sound quality wise, over its analog outputs, I can tell you already that the S50 Pro Plus comes very close to the Blue Sound Note. The bass response is very impressive with plenty of low end drive. And also the sound stage is way more open than what you would expect from a device in this price range. One of the tracks that I used for this test was A Taste of Honey, sung by Patricia Barber from the album Cafe Blue. With the S50 Pro Plus, Patricia's voice sounded neutral and precise. Meanwhile, the instruments were delivered into my listening room with excellent precision. Patricia's voice was separated very well from the instrumental parts, clearly placing her slightly forward and perfectly centered. Switching to the note, you do experience some improvements. The sound stage opens up a bit more and higher frequencies become more detailed. Still, the differences were not as big as I wished they would be. This trend continued with most of the music I played during my 4 weeks of testing and although the Note is the better sounding streamer, you would have to use higher end gear to really experience the differences. With these mid-range clip speakers, the gap in sound quality is very subtle. Compared to the Wii Mini and connected to an external deck, there is no clear winner. However, when using the analog outputs, the S50 Pro Plus is clearly a step up. Besides that, the option to hardwire the S50 Pro Plus to the network eliminates the occasional dropouts that I experienced with the Win Mini. Software wise, I can't really complain. The S50 Pro Plus and the Win Mini are on par. However, the BlueOS app is far more advanced. I've been testing the S50 Pro Plus for a month and I did not experience any problems at all. Both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work very well, but as with nearly every streamer, if you want to get the best out of it, a hardwired connection is the way to go. Compared to BlueOS, the 4Stream app looks a bit dated. However, it works fine and thanks to the optional hardwired connection, I did not experience any dropouts. The sound quality is good enough to complement any mid-range hi-fi system and the fact that you can use the S50 Pro Plus as a pre-amplifier is indeed a big plus. And that's it for today, but hey wait, don't go yet. If you like hi-fi and home cinema, then here are two videos that I'm sure you will like as well.